grade seven, and I've got a background in language and literature. But I've also started a PhD position at the German Aerospace Centre recently, uh, trying to get a PhD in software engineering. And I am an RSE in a linguistic research project. Um, why do I even mention this? It's because in this new research project where we uh, funded under the DG Fund Research Software Sustainability, it's a core business to develop the software and sustain it, and also document what we're doing. Um, with my brand new fresh look on uh, software engineering, I thought, well, it's great. It's the one, uh, the one th time I can actually do everything right about a research software project. But then I realized that um, I'm not even sure how to do it. And my colleague, who's a huge fan of Agile Methods, said, it's not a problem, we just you know, get going, do the software, and that's about it. And I thought, well, if you have a look at this Etsy textbook, it says, um, architectural design, requirements engineering, lots of UML models. So um, the one thing I would like to learn from this workshop is, is there a good way to either marry the two or define what kinds of software you can use either the more traditional, preemptive way of documenting lots of software before you actually start implementing it, or just if, if there's something perhaps small enough or easy enough that you can just run with it and do your agile methods. Um, I'm also happy to answer any questions or talk about software citation um, and work we do on it, perhaps during a hack day, and because I probably have some time left, uh, we will have a first RZ conference in Germany in June, and you're happily invited if you need the chance to get away from Britain for some <laughs> <laughs>